Hey, it's Matt Layton with your news briefing. Australia's ordered the evacuation of our embassy in Kiev with a Russian invasion of Ukraine looking more likely by the hour. The Morrison government's direction follows a similar move by the US. Staff will shift to a temporary office in the country's west. US President Joe Biden warns if an invasion happens, his country and its allies will impose swift and severe costs on Russia. A tough day in the office, those are the words of the New South Wales Premier following mixed results in the state's Super Saturday by-elections. For the first time in its history, Labor looks likely to claim the seat of Bega in the fallout from the response to the Black Summer bushfires and COVID. Liberal leader and Premier Dominic Perrottet says lessons can be learned. Bega, which is obviously the most disappointing result for the government, there's a lot to take out of that in terms of... You know, we've got a strong track record there. Obviously, it's a community in Vega that's gone through a very difficult time off the back of the bushfires. Um, and, and, I'll, and I'll look into that. Turning to the COVID situation around the nation, sadly, 22 people have died in New South Wales and 18 in Victoria in the past 24 hours. Hospital admissions continue to trickle in both states. An uncontained bushfire in Tasmania's north has burned through 1,500 hectares. Crews in the fire zone are being challenged by hot conditions and unpredictable winds. And don't get your heart broken by a romance scam on Valentine's Day. Westpac data shows Aussies lost $11.4 million in cons last year. If you or a loved one has been affected by bullying, help is available with the Dolly's Dream support line. Call or text 0488 881 There are still a few days to go, but Australia is already enjoying its most successful Winter Olympics ever. Brisbane's Jackie Narricot claimed a fourth medal in Beijing, bagging silver in the skeleton event. In NBL action today, South East Melbourne Phoenix takes on the Tasmania Jack Jumpers. The Kings go head to head with the Brisbane Bullets in Sydney. Last night, the Illawarra Hawks edged out the Cairns Taipans, and Melbourne United beat the Perth Wildcats by six points. Buying or selling rural or residential properties? Skies continuing for the limestone coast down to 13 degrees tonight, then a partly cloudy one tomorrow with a max of 28. And the Listener app is the new home of your local news. Join now to listen live or on demand. Listen.